Hello and welcome back here to the channel. I'm Evil Rabbit. We are staring at a Ford ST race car. So we're going to go and see what is faster here in a Gymkhana style track. Grip or drift for me that is. So we'll be taking this car out. We're going to be gripping this track and we'll be bringing out a drift car and seeing which one is faster with me driving. So the little grip versus drift competition here for today. Make sure you guys follow me on all social media. I'll let you find the description box below. As always, let's get to it. So we gotta switch our shifter into sequential. There we go. A little front drive, front wheel drive car. Don't have a handbrake because we don't need it. So it's gonna be a matter if we can get through the really tight sections in this car. But well, we're gonna go full send and see what is actually faster with me driving. Now I know there's probably some grip drivers that could be way faster than me, but we're gonna see here on this HTC layout one. We're gonna put that on so we can see all the telemetry. So uh, full send on grip. Let's go full send. So in theory, you would think you would be faster in a grip environment because you're not having to bleed off speed and things of like that but we're going to try and do this without any penalties and we're trying to do this in full grip format so we're not trying to overblow the car we're trying to follow the line that is designated on this track and not get any penalties or hit any of the markers This is where I think the time will be lost. I don't know if we're going to be able to really do this too well. In a grip car. Oh, the turning radius is not there. We do not have a handbrake. It is not set up with a handbrake, so that's kind of a penalty. I'm kind of walking around with the brakes. Oh, yeah. This car's turning radius. Not the greatest when it comes to these small box turns. That kind of helped, but yeah, this is definitely hurting our chances for time when it comes to how quickly we can get through this course. So this course is really hindering this grip, you know, the ability for a grip car right now because we do definitely need a handbrake because this car doesn't have a handbrake. So we have to really do an in and out aspect I don't even know if we're gonna be able to pull in on this one second we gotta go out and cut ourselves in pull ourselves back out okay we did manage that so I feel like drifting is gonna be a matter of how many penalties we actually have So across the line in the grip car. So let's see what our time is for this. Go back to pits and our time is two minutes and 10 seconds. That's actually not a bad time. <laughs> actually thinking about it when I was running HTC. So now we're gonna hop into a drift car and see what the time frame difference is from this to a drift car. We're gonna grab another grip car that has a better turning radius, but let's grab a drift car. So we did bring out a drift car. Now this car may look a little different. It may look like the S15 and ran the SDA, but it is left-hand drive with some changes. And uh, of course, a big old V8 in there. So we're gonna run full send on drift with this car. And we're gonna see 210 was the time that I completed with the grip car. We got to see what we can do in the drift car. Now, mind you, this does have a lot more power, but we're going to dial it down a little bit because it's too much grip or not enough grip. So 210 was the time. Same rules apply. We're going to try and stay oh. on course.
and make sure that we are following the same rules as we did with the grip car, but sideways. Oh man, I haven't driven this track in forever. We're managing to do it without hitting anything right now. So this is where definitely time will be gained. I should have drove this car in HTC series. We're driving that 350Z, but this car is killing it. That was a bit of a that would have been a little bit of a penalty, but I feel like this is so much faster, and it has to do with that lack of turning radius. And the ability to take that way faster. I think I just drove this course better than I did when I was driving an HTC series. Apparently, uh... Oh! As I say that, we come out of drift. Oh, we should have been third for this section. So across the line with, I think, a way faster time in this three, uh, S15. We're going to go check a look at the actual time. I feel like this was way faster. I could be wrong, though. Back to pits. One minute and 54 seconds. Not far off of the grip car. And we had to do some weird turning around and things like that. So let's go find another grip car that maybe has a better steering angle. And see if maybe we can get even faster. So 154. Let's see what we can do. So we decided to bring out something small and nimble. See if we can't beat the grip score. The little expo, which we do have a handbrake, so we'll be able to get around those tight hairpins faster. So we are gonna be running this, like I said, as a grip. And we're gonna see if we can't beat that 154. Because 154 with that S15 is pretty good. But only 210 with the board, which was actually pretty close, so. Full we'll send in the expo, let's do it. Like I said, something small and nimble. Oh, that locks up brakes. So we would have gotten penalties there, but. Grip is not really there in the front, but we're still. I feel like we're still going pretty quick comparison to that S15. This is going to be where we pick up time versus on that Ford because we do have a little handbrake on this car. I mean, we're just going to kind of take that as a a wash on that so this is not really drifting this is still we're gonna go into grip from there just quick tight hairpins which this expo had a little bit grippier tires but I still think we are faster all right so we're push this corner oh that brake lock up oh we're just gonna go around the outside to brake lock up in this car is unforgiving so this isn't a very good run i was trying to do a good run but this is not the greatest with the grip level of these front tires but we'll see what this time is maybe we'll run one more lap And across the line, yeah, that's a huge lockup. So across the line in the expo, back to pits for a time of 154. Huh. I think we're gonna try this one more time, and we're gonna try and run it without over pushing the car, and see if we can actually beat the drift score. 
Because this car has way less power than a drift car. And if we cannot over push the corners, I feel like we'd be able to beat the drift car. And grip would be faster in this aspect. So, not as fun, but faster. Let's go. I'm trying to focus on my points and not overdrive this car. A little straight legal go-kart going on right now. Try to do this without penalties and not overdrive it through these corners. Like right there, a little bit of drift out in the front wheels, but... I mean, that technically would be a penalty, but... Oh, I think this is way faster. So for this uh, grip versus drift, you guys want to see other things like this? Let me know down in the comments. We're actually going to take this turn correctly. If you guys want to maybe see all-wheel drive versus rear-wheel drive, front-wheel drive versus rear-wheel drive, let me know down in the comments. We can do more Gymkhana-style driving and, or do more grip versus drift. Tell me what cars you think I should try in this little grip versus drift challenge. Maybe grip, grip versus drift and same horsepower, but this car is way less horsepower than that 350 or S15 did. And uh, we're... Uh, I think we're going to be way faster now. And across the line on our second one, if it's better than a 154, then we did beat the S15. A 155, so we did not. So it's on par with the S15. So I'm going to take this one as a draw for today. So make sure you guys follow me on all social media, all the front screen box below. If you like what you need and want to see more, let me know down in the comments if tap that subscribe button. I would appreciate all the support. And as always, I thank you guys for coming back and watching. I'm Evil Rabbit. I'll see you guys on the track.